everybody, it's Shalise from Remember When, and I just wanted to come by and put one of these cards together really quickly for you. Um, my director at the theater that I perform at asked me to make some thank you cards for him to send out to people like sponsors and things like that. So I came up with this. I had already done another set for him, which... Um, Hold on for a minute, let me get the other set. Okay, I'm back. So the other set that I made for him looked like this. Um, it was, this is Glimmer Misted. Um, I got the drama faces from the Locker Talk Cricket cartridge, um, like here. And it's on page 55. And I believe this was cut at two. Um, but I'm not sure, this was a few weeks ago. So he wanted another dozen ordered. And um, if you look here, it says a special thank you. So that's what I made for him. And he wanted, um, I, you know, ran out of this rose paper so I couldn't make another dozen out of that. And he said, oh, it doesn't matter, just make something, you know, elegant. He liked the, uh, I guess he didn't want, like, drama signs in your face kind of thing, so he liked the way I did them. They were subtle enough. So I came up with this. Um, and this opens up, and it still says a special thank you. And when you open the card this way, it has the drama signs here, but it just doesn't have the faces. So I'm going to show you how I make this, and we're going to put it together. Okay? We're going to start off with a black piece of cardstock. Now, I got this from Recollections, and it's really flimsy. I need to get some paper tray ink or something. Um, but this is cut at 5.5 by 8.5. Uh, we also have a piece of gray cardstock that I ran through the cuddle bug with the script folder, and this is cut at four and a quarter, no, four by five and a quarter. We have the drama masks, which were cut, um, like I said, on the uh, Locker uh, locker Talk um, Cricut cartridge, and this is cut, sorry, this is cut at four and a quarter. Sorry about my phone, y'all. Um, and this is scored also at four and a quarter. We have the insert which I printed this off on the computer. I cut this to five and a quarter by eight and a quarter and scored it at four and an eighth. And we have two pieces of ribbon, one that's gonna go at the bottom, which is a little larger. It's about five, six inches long. And then we have a smaller piece that is four inches long to make the knot, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this at the score line. Make sure it's even. And then I'm going to fold my insert as well. Get that even. And then we're just going to go ahead and put the insert in in the beginning. And today I'm using my pink ATG gun because it um, has tape in it. My yellow one, which is the half inch tape, um, I ran out of tape have to get some more but the pink one as you guys know is now carried at Michael's and that one's the quarter inch and I have tons of that tape because it's cheap so but it all works so c'est la vie all right so we have our card base now we're going to go ahead and take some tape and attach the ribbon about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom and tape it on the back. And I just lost that. There we go. Okay, so we have it here. And then I'm going to attach that to the card base. it's down all the way around and we have this then we're going to take our other piece of ribbon and just make a simple knot and I hope you guys can see that and pulling the left side and not so much the right to turn that knot over Okay, and then we're going to cut our, ed our ends. And burn them. Okay. 
Okay, so we have our knot here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, let me grab my scoreboard and I'll be right back. So, I have my scoreboard here. Now the way I line this up is I took the edge of the left drama sign and the left edge of the right drama sign and just put them up against the top of the scoreboard. I then made a score mark at two and a half, okay? So when you score it, I'm sorry, when you fold it, it looks like this, okay? So we're gonna take adhesive and put it on the back side first, which is the smaller side. I'm also gonna put some two-way glue at the top here and around the edges. And we're gonna line that up. Well, actually, we're gonna line the front up first. So you just take your scored mark and line it up to where, about where you want it, which is about there. And then go ahead and adhere the back. And I just found that was easier. I don't know why, but it is for me. You then take some more adhesive on the front. And again, I'll take my two-way glue around the edges. And you're just going to pull that over, missing the ribbon. I'm going to move that knot over a little bit. There we go. I like the knot coming over the sign. Okay, so now we have this. And then all I did is I took these um, rhinestones I got from the dollar section at Michael's at Studio 18. And I took the smaller ones. I had to do some bigger ones on some of them because I ran out. Um, and I put rhinestone at the... Ah, Tweezers would be smart at this point. At the top right here where the two masks come together. And then I put one about maybe oh, a quarter of an inch down and another, another quarter of an inch down. So you have three rhinestones. And that's it. I mean, it's a, you know, it's definitely a drama card for theater. You see the drama signs there. It's simple, elegant. It has the message inside. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, stay creative. Mm -hmm.